Welcome to the Running Trucker Garage. So it's springtime, April. I think it's like 9, 9, 9, 10th. Close enough. But anyhow, so it's the weekend. Decided I was going to get some things ready for springtime. Um, so I get out in the shed, and of course, my lawnmower, uh, flat tires, dead batteries. So we, I uh, pulled her out of the shed, going to bring her into the, the other shop here and uh, change a tire, um, maybe tighten up some bolts. I, I got a grab bag of bolts um, for the old girl here, and I'll show you what we got. So we got, what we got here is, a, I think it's like a 1997 Murray um, lawn tractor. She's a good old girl. Um, aka uh, Mater, aka Cyclops, aka um, I made <laughs> I made a point. As long as I can get parts for this thing yet, I am not going to replace it. So I can still get parts for Murray, uh, this particular model. Um, our local fleet farm actually carries a lot of them. But she's got your standard Briggs and Stratton motor in it. Uh, the starter is half toast on it. I replaced it once with a, another used starter. But I don't want to buy a new one because the new one is like $150. So I'll just keep tapping on this one. Maybe I'll rip it apart too. Clean it out. That's where she got the Cyclops name. Um, I was going to put a face on it. But uh, I, I don't know if I got any spray paint around here. We'll see. So, but uh, this is a project for today. We got a, a hoof replacement we got to do on this girl. And then uh, I did uh, my uh, um, generator here that I use this cart for. This, this tire let loose. And uh, that one is missing some bolts too. So I got to replace those apparently. Uh, I didn't even see those. And, um, that one, the tube is shot. I tried to put air in it and it just blew right out. So we're going to do that and do that. And uh, could definitely use some grease in here, but I had these wheels off a while ago, or last year, and greased everything up. There is a grease fitting in the back, and then uh, you can pack that with grease. Go to the workbench. Well, they make a sorted of numbers of tools that you can use to take these tires off, but I'll we'll probably just use a couple of them and a couple of them. And now, if your wife or significant other is into crafting. There's probably a couple of these laying around and uh, you can snag it without her looking and uh, you can fill it up with some soap and uh, some water and that'll help you get the beads off or rip these tires off of here. I don't know if uh, it is gonna get these beads off of here.
The key is to be smarter and tire. Which I'm usually not. Yeah, don't use your dead blow hammers to uh, pound posts in because they break. Where the camera. Take that. All right. See, there is a there's a grease fitting on the back side here for the back side of that non-existent bearing. But uh, yeah, that's all you have. This thing looks pretty clean. I'm gonna take a rag and just wipe that up quick before I uh, put the new one on. Try to give it a fighting chance of. Uh, Keep an air in it. 
So should we put black side out or black side out? Yeah, that's what I thought. Little bites. Little bites. screwdriver was kind of working better. Now I did pull the valve stem out for uh, maximum amount of air pressure going in her. So hopefully that uh, we can try to get the bead on here. Oh, yeah. uh, the bead went on right away. So I can put the valve stem in here. If I put it in the right way. We're gonna put about, it says on the tire here, 14 PSI. Pop, pop. Yeah, that's, that's about, that's 14 PSI there. And since I do have this all ripped apart, I am gonna throw a grease on some of the stuff here. Chamber up. There we got it all mounted back up again. Um, my camera cut off. I did um, air it up and the bead set right away on it. Um, so I just slid it up, packed it full of grease, and uh, we're all good to go. So we'll see how long that takes to go flat or till I run it into something, which is probably what happened on the last one. Yeah. Thank you. 
No, she won't go. Yeah, I definitely need to put, might have to break down and put a new starter in it because I know that's the problem. Um, I went through three starter solenoids and that's not the problem. Um, but yeah, that starter is just no good. And, uh, I might rip it apart, see if I can get it to work. Probably not, but uh, yeah, I think if I put a put a charger on it, I think she'd fire off though. So I think we're ready for spring. Woohoo! All right. I think here's, I found the problem. Oh. Figured since uh, got the camera here, we'll uh, change this one too. Oh, it's split rim, that's why. Whoop. This makes it handy. It's got a split rim and half the bolts were already loose on it. So, get rid of this old tube that's in here. Get my workbench set up here. I'm going to tear this up to see uh, where the hole Yeah, the air goes out of there immediately. Oh, I am missing the belt stem. We put the belt stem back in here and we'll see if we get some. No, well, regardless, this is shot, so I think we already knew that. So, when you have these as a split rim like this, Makes it fairly easy. Just take the you got the the numbers corded inside. If you if you go get the tire um, number on the tire here, if you go to the hardware store, 
We'll add the number of the tire tube on there. I you just hope that it's the right size. But looks like it. So we'll just put this around here. Slide this in here. Make sure that uh, you get it in here flat so that you don't, uh, when you get it in here, you can see that it's, you don't want any twists in it, or otherwise it'll, may possibly definitely wreck the tube or, I'm gonna throw a little bit of air in this thing. Well, it sits right here. To get it to seat a little bit. And it all, just make sure that I got it where I need it to be, which is, and that gets everything kind of out of the way too. So when you put the rim back together, you're not fighting with yourself. Take uh, this rim side and I'm going to put it on there. And then this one will just bolt. There's four bolts. I only got two, so I'm going to stagger them now until I can get some new bolts. found the cover for that. You don't want to pull these off and you want to just take the tire off to do it this, these have the same as like this you just pull that cotter key off and they'll slide right out
couple of these are going to blow them off. All right, there we have it. Um, I am going to go through and I'm going to tighten up all these wheels on this wagon here because that does hold my generator. So I don't want to be having wheels falling off or something why I'm in a rainstorm most likely after a big storm that would knock the power out and I need my generator to power the shack up. So I've had old Cyclops here on the battery charger on boil mode here for a while. so. I'm going to see if we can uh, get this thing to fire up quick. Alright, i got to grab my starter. Got the old key here. Well, I hope that something that I tried to do in this garage uh, helped you. <laughs> but um, if you uh, enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and uh, we will see you on the next one. God bless. Peace.